What is this? Is it a Honda? Is it a Toyota? Is it a Chevy Volt? No. Uh, this is a 2012 Fisker, but whether you buy a 2012 Fisker or 2020 Fisker, it's all the same car. But this is a cooling system on the electric motor because this is a hybrid vehicle and it has the electric motor in this case. This one's being pressure tested. But here's part of the cooling system that goes to the air conditioning. Now on this one here, we're cooling the water for the case, but we're also cooling the water for the hybrid battery. That big black rectangle you see that goes throughout the car all the way down here, this is all a giant battery pack. And this battery pack is also cooled. Can you see it? Um, no, you can't see the hoses. Off of this plate heat exchanger, that little white label right there, is that it? Am I blind? God, it's so hard to see up there. Well, there's some of the piping. Here's some of the air conditioning. From down here, here's one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm backwards. There is the gold that you see right there colored, the brass color. That is the solenoid that turns off the refrigerant flow to the plate heat exchanger that has the expansion valve on it and I cannot see from down here. But that chills the glycol that cools the hybrid battery when you're charging or you're accelerating and you're heating up the battery. You have to get rid of all that heat and that's done by the air conditioning system. That's also for the passenger. And coming back here, the glycol system for this um, now we're getting you know thermal management all these electric cars need a lot of cooling so this has its cooling system and actually they had no records on where this repair was done but there was a crack and it, it's obviously was ground down and re-welded because here's the factory weld here's a repair but it had a leak again and over here on the factory weld can you see that light crack in there? That's leaking like a sieve and the crack is going all around. Let's see if I could zoom in on it. And do you see that crack now? So that's leaking. And that's part of the cooling system for the electric motor back there. Electric water pumps. Okay, so you, more of the cooling system coming from the front off uh, the glycol system that comes from the plate heat exchanger in the front where I believe, which I can't see, but I have made videos on it before. I oh, could, no, nope, still can't see from any of it. This is the other side. Yeah, I'm not gonna, without lowering the vehicle, I won't be able to show you the plate heat exchanger. And here's part of the system up here for more glycol cooling to do the air cooling part of it before it gets chilled going through the expansion block. And here's the condenser part for the refrigerant for the passenger compartment right here. And this is the Fisker, which this is what the Tesla would have looked like if the designer for the Fisker didn't jump ship and get his own uh, financing and start his own company. That was what a Tesla was supposed to look like when they first came around. But he gave Tesla kind of a lesser, plainer looking S model, left the company and started his own company. So this is what the Tesla should have looked like when it came out. That's all.